What's going on guys? We have a couple of pro techs here, but we're only actually here to really discuss one in particular. But since I have two variations, I thought I'd bring them both out. So I recently made a purchase uh, with NC Blades, which is where I get my CKF stuff, and I was actually shopping for a CKF. I was gonna buy the Bob Trezula one. I almost bought it. I just decided it's a bit big for my taste. So instead, while I was peeking around, I noticed that this was in stock. And uh, these are kind of rare to see in stock, but there's a recent run of some custom Malibus getting released. So the Protect Malibu, what is it for those of you that aren't familiar with it? Now in this nice kind of darker environment, you can see this one's got a tritium insert. It's kind of cool. This is the Operator Edition. And the Malibu is a button lock flipper. Now this is really cool of Protec to make these because Protec generally makes more of switchblades and automatics and they're very good at it but for a guy who lives in California it's just not very practical for me to carry one very often. Um, I do own a couple um, automatic Protex. I think I got a runt or two of that's the little tiny guy and then I also own um, a TR2 with a skull from Shaw. So when the Malibu came out, I was just waiting around to see if I could get kind of a cooler, fancier one. And then this one I acquired at, I can't remember, I think it was a custom knife show, uh, CCKS. I can't remember, maybe Blade Show West, I don't know. Anyways, I acquired this at a knife show and um, I was really quite impressed with how nice it is. Now what's cool about the Protec Malibu is I've owned button locks in the past and they usually have a bit of a weak detent. And that's just kind of like the nature of a button lock just because your the mechanics are completely different. Um, I'm not even going to try to explain it, but it's basically working off of a button and a little edge. and um, so usually the, the, the deployment on those things are usually pretty weak. When this came out, that's kind of what blew everybody away is this knife, you can really load up and flip it just like any frame lock or liner lock and it deploys with authority. Um, the button works great. And this is kind of a reverse Tonto uh, blade profile. So the Malibu, is probably my favorite ProTech model out right now. Next, on to the one that I recently acquired. Now, if you guys see or watch Dirk Warning's YouTube channel, then you guys have seen this already because I had it drop shipped to him first. But I did get a custom variant of the Malibu ProTech. So there are some differences. Um, you can get this blade shape right here in a production or kind of more standard variant. Um, they have limited editions like this operator one. They have standard aluminum ones that are just plain Jane blue with stonewashed blades. And then you can also get a custom and they can range from all different prices they can be customized in all different ways um, but honestly this probably is one of the lesser expensive custom variants and it's probably one of my favorites when i saw this i just i don't know i just had to have it that's what she said ha. i don't get it <laughs> So here it is. So you can see some differences. Uh, I think this is the only two blade shapes, the reverse Tonto and um, this kind of drop point sheep's foot. Um, I could be wrong and you guys can comment down below because I'm not super proficient on Protex stuff, but I'm definitely enjoying these. So now 
with this one, you get a couple extra things. First of all, a lot of the Protex, um, like the lesser expensive variants, you'll get aluminum handles. Uh, I think on some of these you can get titanium as well. As a matter of fact, I know that. I've seen titanium handles on them before. Um, and this one actually has bronze handles. So this one's kind of heavy because of this legit bronze material. It's been unbelievably deep pocketed. So it's surprisingly a lot lighter uh, than what I actually expected it to be. Because uh, usually anything made of bronze or copper is, it's, it's a brick. Um, in this case, this feels kind of like a titanium frame lock, so I really love that. Now another thing that they did, um, they did a nice beautiful mill pa pattern on this one. And I always love these because you know, the, the, the pattern just kind of moves with the light, and I really like that. You can see the chamfering done on all the edges. This is a clamshell construction knife, so you see it just splits in two. There is no backspacer. There's the button lock mechanism right there, and the button lock is a mosaic pin. You can see a little copper accent in there with some brass or bronze, whatever this is. <laughs> um, Protec logo right up at the top of the spine. Now another cool thing about custom Protex is that a lot of them, or probably all of them, I believe, come with custom hand ground blades. Now this one's got a mirror polish finish on it, which is beautiful. They're very hard to maintain. They always get dirty, but it's kind of like having a black car. With the shine, when it's just right, it just looks so damn awesome. You got some really nice satin flats. Nice edge. Yeah, this is a keeper, guys. This is super cool. I am definitely, definitely going to be enjoying this knife quite a bit. This one, I wasn't sure if it was going to be a permanent keeper or not, but I haven't quite decided to get rid of it just quite yet. So as you can see, this one is a lot of fun, very shiny, and very attractive for many reasons. So when it comes to custom, my first experience with a custom ProTech, I am pretty damn impressed, guys. They are as good as others have described them to be. Really digging this. Yeah, we're going to do a full review on both of these guys at some point. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, guys. And make sure you hit that bell icon right below. As for now, this is Alex from the Watch and Cut channel, out.